Hello, this is Mohammed. I work as a technical advisor with Cisco Systems. With this short video, I would want to talk about ACI NTP configurations and we'll be doing a demo. Let's get started. NTP configurations are done for time sync. So you can have your device getting time from NTP server or you can have the time set locally. The ACI fabric provide both capabilities. In these sessions, I will concentrate more on how to get time sync from a NTP server. These are the some of the deployment considerations you need to aware when you do configuration for NTP. NTP configurations are pod wide or fabric wide. So this means that you do an NTP configurations per pod, not per device or any other logical constructs. Once you do the configurations, all the devices or nodes part of the fabric or the pod will get the time information. The NTP server will be hosted externally. So you need to make sure that the server is reachable. You can use in-band EPG or an out-of-band EPG for that. So the policy download of the NTP configurations will happen once the NTP is reachable from your APIC or from the nodes. So you may already noted that in this case, Fabric is acting as an NTP client and it requests for the time from the time server. The time server will provide the time to the Fabric. So what are the configurations you need to do to make it happen? So as you are aware, all the configuration in the ACI fabrics are policy based. So you need to define the policy. The first step what you do is you define the date and time policy. In that policy, you will specify what is the time zone, whether you need to enable NTP or not. If you have any authentication, the related authentication parameters and also what is the display format you want. Now also you need to specify what is the NTP server IPs and what interval you need to call the NTP server. If there is any key shared between the NTP server and client or the NTP server require any key to authenticate you should specify the key as well. If you have multiple NTP server you can make your preferred server. Once you define all these policies, you will bind that policy to the pod policy group, then call it in the profile and submit. So once you do these three steps, define policy, bind the policy to the policy group and to the profile, then your configuration is completed. Once you do the configurations, you also need to verify. You can use a couple of commands to verify the configuration whether it works or not. As you see in this slide, you can use NTP peer status. This command need to be done on the leaf and spine switches. The NTP stat, NTP Q, iPhone PN and also you can check the configuration file of the NTP from the epic. You can also, part of your configurations, you can also verify your node is actually sending the NTP request or not using the TCP dump. So we will see all these options in the lab. Let me take you through the lab topology. So this is the very simple NTP demo topology I have. Not complicated at all. We have one spine, two leaf and one epic controller. As I mentioned, you will do the configuration fabric wide. So in ACI, you have an EPIC controller. You will push all the configurations from the EPIC and the policies will be pushed to the fabric nodes, which is in our case, spine and two leaf. And this is one advantage of SDN in a matter ACI, right? You don't need to connect to each of the devices to do the configurations. It, it allows centralized provisioning capabilities. 
and I'm hosting an NTP server outside the fabric. I use inbound TPG to reach that server. So the server IP is 192.168.90.35. Now let's log into the fabric and verify the configurations and we will proceed with the NTP server configuration and also the verification part. So let me connect to the fabric. I already connected. So if you do a fabric wide policies, you need to select fabric and under the fabric fabric policies you will see there is a port policy under that you can define the fabric wide policies so let's quickly verify what we have so there is a date and time and and a time and format is asia local so you need to define your ntp server you need to make sure that that means state of this NT, uh, time policy is enabled also let's log into the switch so let me connect to the leaf one i already have the connection open let me check the ntp status show ntp peer status we don't have any ntp configuration let's check here we don't have any NTP configuration on leaf 2. Let's check in spine. Okay, we do not have any NTP configuration in spine. Right now, I am logged into Nexus 7K, which is acting as my NTP server. I have VLAN 900 SVI configured as my NTP server IP 192.168.90.35. Now let me verify whether I can reach to this server from one of the leaf. For that I will use iPing. Considering I am using inbound management to reach the NTP server, I should be trying to reach the NTP server sourcing from that VRF. So this is my inbound management vrf so let me do an iping minus v vrf name and the destination ip 35 so we have the reachability from the leaf 1 to the ntp server let's check it from leaf 2 and also from the spine And also let's check it from the epic so on the epic you do not have VRF so you will just do a ping okay so we verified the reachability from all the nodes including the controller now let's start with the configuration so first thing is you will enable the time policy and you can also define the NTP server. So our NTP server is 90.35 and I am using in-band management to reach. Considering I have only one server, I will make this as a preferred one and submit. I am not using any advanced features like authentication but once you define the policies you also need to bind this policy to the policy group so I already have a policy defined I am going to bind my date and time policy to this policy group so mine is a default policies I am calling that default policy under the policy group and also this policy group should be called in the profile so I already have that, I will use it. Now I am submitting. Let me go back to the leaf and spine and check whether we have the NTP policy downloaded to the leaf and spine. For that I will use show NTP peer status command. Okay, so I have 
NTP policy downloaded now on the leaf one and you see that this is my NTP server and this is this server is selected for sync okay let's verify this in leaf 2 leaf 2 as well we have policy downloaded and the NTP server is showing up on spine yes we have we have NTP server reachability from the spine as well let's check on the epic on the epic the command is NTP stat the controller also the epic also synchronizing to the NTP server now to verify the NTP poly interval and the reachability information or how many times it was able to reach you can use ntpq iphone pn command you can also verify the ntp configuration using cat go to the etc folder so you can see this configuration file is updated with the server ip so basically using this basically by reading this config file you will come to know what exactly is configured on the epic now let's also do this tcp dump and see the traffic the tcp dump you can use it use it for or it is very useful tool to verify the communications for a specific traffic let me try the same command in the second leaf As you can see, I am trying to capture the traffic going out from my inbound interface and using the port 123. So 10.1.11.4 that is my leaf to IP and that is trying to reach the server. So you will see the NTP client and server communications when you capture this traffic. So let's summarize. To define your NTP policies, you need to go to the fabric, fabric policies and under the port policy, you should define your NTP or time related policies and you will call that policy under the policy group and bind that to the profile. The EPIC or the ACI gives you a flexibility of defining multiple NTP servers and also defining authentication so that your communications will be very secure hope this session was useful thanks for watching we will have more session in future thanks again